Growing up, I demolished my prosthetic legs. I spent my summers at the lake and we would run and jump off the boat. We would swim to the shore and go cliff diving. I went to the beach and I ran in my prosthetic. And at that time, there weren't like sports specific prosthetics, at least definitely not for the everyday user. And there weren't like water legs and all of these options to protect your device. You had one and you had it for a long time before you were allowed to get another one. And I was a kid. I mean, I, I didn't care about getting sand and dirt and water in my foot shell and having that damage my leg. What we did a lot of times was once I got a new leg, my old leg became my water leg or my activity leg. And if we were at the beach, we would put like a grocery bag over my leg and my parents would tape it really tight. And we would just hope that not too much sand would get in there. Um, when I was like water skiing or wakeboarding, we put a pool noodle around my pylon. Um, so we just cut the pool, pool noodle, clamped it on, taped that on, and then that way my leg didn't sink. Um, we tested it first in a tub to make sure, and it did work. And I did lose my leg many times skiing, and it would just be bobbing in the water. All of this to say, now as an adult and in charge of getting my own prosthetic devices, I'm much more careful, or at least I try to be. But I'm not really spending my summers at the lake like I used to, but I spend my summers out in the mountains, hiking, biking, wading through streams. And so my leg still takes a lot of abuse, but this company, Pro Armor, sent me both of their protective products. So they have the Pro Armor Lite and the Pro Armor Plus. They're basically the same thing, neoprene sleeves that protect your prosthesis. The Plus has kind of a sole on it and a little bit more structure so that you can wear this like poolside or on the beach when you're not wearing a shoe on your other foot. The Pro Armor Lite is almost like a sock that you slip onto your leg. So for both of them, you slip it onto your leg. I try to pull it up as far as I can because I want it over this torsion ball because um, that's kind of the thickest part. If I can protect above that, then I should be good. And then this just slides. And that just slides right into your shoe. And so if you were to get any rocks or sand or water into your shoe, it's fine because it'd have to come all the way up here to get down into your prosthetic. That's all great in theory, but I want to try to damage my foot. I'm going to put on the Pro Armor Plus so I don't have to worry about so I don't have to worry about taking on or off a shoe because, like I said, I want to get these wet and dirty. I think the Pro Armor Plus is easier to get on. Um, the structure uh, of the foot just, I don't know, it makes it a little bit easier. This one is like putting on a tight, stiff sock. Doable, not a huge deal, um, especially if you want to be wearing shoes, but the plus is definitely easier to get on and off. We are currently demoing our bathroom. Let's put the water to the test. Should we do this in the bathtub? I want to see if it's slippery or not. So this side of the bathroom is done. 
It's definitely grippy. The sole they provide on here, oh, and it is wet, but the sole they provide on here is definitely has some grip. So in my garden bed, we've been putting a lot of sawdust from our bathroom renovations, but I think it would be a great test if we, we should bury it. Let's fully bury it. How deep I need to go. Nice dark soil. Are we to the top? I think we are. Let's be reckless. <laughs> ah! Should we check? completely dry. I mean, this is wet, but my leg is completely dry. I mean, now I have it in mulch. The sock, the inner sock, the foot sock is dry. How else can we test this? It's like, it's like 300 degrees in here. Um, it's so hot. But in my greenhouse, I have full buckets of water that heat up during the day while it's like 300 degrees in here. And then they keep the greenhouse warm at night while it cools down because it is still February. I'm going to submerge my foot in the bucket of water. I wonder how long I should hold it in there for. Oh my gosh, it's so hot. Whew. Okay. Let's see. This is definitely soaked but it's dry on the inside, feels like. Okay, that will probably take a minute to dry out. Be curious how long it actually takes, especially in here. Yeah? She's dry, even the sock is dry. Foot shell is dry. Pretty nice. All right, Pro Armor. You've done it. Would recommend. Also, fun little side note. My prosthetist um, added a layer of material to the bottom of my foot shell. And it's grippy because I told him I walk around barefoot all the time on my hardwood floors inside um, and that that's kind of slippy, S slick, slippery, slippy. Um, and so he just added this on and it is really nice. In all my years of being an amputee, I've never had that material on the bottom of my foot and now I never want to not have it.